Hello and welcome everyone to the final day of the SAF Under-17 Women's Championship 2023. We've had four amazing days of football from the Under-17 girls. And we are about to kick off the first of two matches we have. And the first match is going to feature the hosts Bangladesh Under-17 Women's Team facing the Nepal Under-17 Women's Team live from... Dhaka's Kamalapur Stadium. I'm your commentator, Shahnur. And as Ladies things and go, gentlemen, let us this welcome promises Bangladesh to be an Nepal. entertaining affair. The points table, as we can see, Russia, they are undefeated. They've won all of their matches and they look set to win this tournament. Bangladesh, they can get level with Russia with a win here. But in terms of goal difference, they need to win by a massive margin. And it's time for the national anthem. For the national anthem of Nepal, Shudhi Dorshok. At first, it's the Nepal's national anthem. Shanman production color juno onurod janano jatse. Now time for the now, national anthem the national of the hosts Bangladesh. Shudhi Dorshuk, Bangladesh Jatiya Shongit and Pruti Dariye, Shonman Production Karar Junno, Onurud Janano Jatthe. Barman Kanika, who is the referee, and the two assistant referee, Kinzang and Sunwar Prem Kumari, and the fourth official 
Yanke Shering, the match commissioner, Bhattacharya Arunava, and the match assessor is Shamsu Zaman Taib Hassan. The players, they get into their positions for a few photographs before the match begins. And as we can see, Bangladesh's starting lineup, Shongita Rani, the goalkeeper, Jana Bibi, the captain, Arpita Bisha, Shri Tuaktar, Nushat Jahan Mitu, Pujadash, Kanon Rani, Shagurika, a player to watch out for, Nadi Akhtar, Juti, Sultan Akhtar, and Shurubhi Akondo. For Nepal, who played quite well against Russia, this is their starting lineup, Shujata Tamang, the goalkeeper and captain today, Renu Limbu, Sitarukaya Mitabhul, Juma, Bishwakarma, Shukriya Mia, Barshaoli, Maya Maske, Punam Chenjong, Senu Priyar, and Simran Rai. That is their lineup. So, pretty expected starting lineups from both teams, although it has to be said that there are a few changes from the last time Nepal played against Russia, as we can see. There is no Deepa Rokaya in the starting 11 and she was one of the best players for Nepal in the last match. Deepa Rokaya, after putting in a massive effort, she's been kept on the bench and she will come in handy, I'm pretty sure, as the match progresses. Given Nepal made very few substitutions in the last match, they have made a few changes. There could be a few tired legs. Nepal did play a day before. Whereas Bangladesh have had three days of rest after a memorable victory, 1-0 goal victory against India. Bangladesh so far having played three games, have won two, lost the one match against Russia who have won every single match that they've played and for the first time as we've said Russia are taking part in the soft tournament there are rumors that Russia could be a part of the Asian Football Council with the war in Ukraine UEFA and FIFA have both decided to not include them in their tournaments, so the Asian Football Council could provide them with some respite. Kickoff will be started in a few minutes. Nepal getting ready. Nepal in red, Bangladesh in green and white. And the referee blows a whistle as we kick off. Bangladesh looking to gain some early possession and momentum immediately after a kickoff. Last match we saw Nepal having a bit of a struggle keeping hold and right now there was an early chance. Shurubi Preeti. She was the player who looked to attack from a dangerous position. Maya Maske taking the free kick here and it falls to Nepal once again they're on the attack long range effort and the keeper who was off position Shungita Rani Dash eventually making sure the danger was dealt with the long range shot from Juma Bishwakarma, she was really looking to get the early goal for Nepal. Nepal once again looking to attack from the left flank, but right now Bangladesh finding possession once again. Bit of a tussle in midfield. And the hosts in for a tight match as things stand. Both teams quite evenly matched, as we can see. There won't be any team dominating possession, as we've seen in a lot of cases. 
especially in the games where Russia and Bhutan have played. For Russia, they've dominated most of the possession in the games they've played. For Bhutan, it's been quite the opposite. They've been dominated in every single match that they've played. Bhutan have played four games without winning one. Throw in for Bangladesh. Looking to make use of it. At least another throw in. Juti with the throw in and immediately wins another one. A trifecta of throw ins. This time taking it short, but then playing it long and out for a goal kick. A bright idea there by Pooja Dash. Sujata Tamang had a very busy day or night should I say in front of goal against Russia not taking the goal kick here giving it to one of her defenders and right now Bangladesh once again looking to have some possession losing it in front of goal and now Nepal looking to counter she passed it straight to a Bangladesh defender And now Bangladesh can deal with the danger, eventually putting it away. Amitabhul with the throw in. And the ball goes straight back in midfield. Lots of long balls being played. Juti this time not managing to keep the ball in and it's a throw in for Nepal within the fourth minute we're seeing Nepal getting the slightly better chances Bangladesh might look to hit on the counter from here from the right flank wonderful Macy run there by Shagorika eventually misplaces her pass and another one that ends up giving possession to Nepal but not for long and others once again looking to play it amongst themselves and now Sultana Sultana with the pass which eventually went out for a throw in. Not the best of throws has to be said. And a good bit of defending. Ritu ensuring that Nepal didn't have a chance to get the ball and control it in midfield and attack the last line of defense. Bangladesh's captain now, Jano Bibirita, getting involved with a few headers to deal with the ball. Once again in midfield. Bangladesh looking to play out from the back with a few passes. Akondo Priti's touch let her down she tried to turn and then keep control eventually losing out Bangladesh once again looking to attack Sultan almost ran into one of the Nepal defenders instead of passing it Nepal are defending quite aggressively remains to be seen if Bangladesh can break that resistance Nepal pressing a bit high in defense that's for sure looking for aggressive interceptions now from the right flank for Bangladesh the cross goes straight to the keeper though Sujata Tamang easy job for her 
Shurovi was the closest. Missing out. This time it's Sultana. Then back with Shurobhi. Nepal once again making sure that Bangladesh don't find enough passes. And now this could be a really good opportunity for Nepal from the right flank. A very good run. The shot goes in and it's a goal. Fantastic bit of football there by Senu Priyar. And brings out our CR7 celebration as well. Jersey number 17. Senu Priyar with a fantastic solo run from the right flank. And a brilliant finish. Bangladesh conceding early in the first half, in the eighth minute. Bangladesh nil, Nepal won. You're watching us on BTV and also on Sportsworks. Goal for Nepal by Jersey number 17, Seno Pariyar. And now there is an opportunity for Bangladesh. As I was saying, be sure to subscribe to Sportsworks for more such videos. Be sure to comment and hit the like button and share as well. Throw in for Nepal. Senu Pariyar with the opening goal. And Nepal once again getting in attack. Has to be said, as much as Sanu Pariyar's goal has to be appreciated, the defending in the last line from Sita Rukaya wasn't the best. Throw in this time for Bangladesh. An early setback remains to be seen how they respond. They have gone behind early once in the tournament, that two against Russia, and did not find a way back. Nepal looking to get another win here. Move up the table. They are currently fourth. They will take six points from four games if they can win this. Lots of Bangladesh players inside the D box for the corner kick. And it's taken short. Now Nepal eventually dealing with the Bangladesh attack. Some good football as we can see by Nepal pressing very aggressively, not allowing Bangladesh's players to pass it amongst themselves. And they're having to pass it back, way back to the keeper and losing control, losing possession. This time though Nepal find a bit of luck in midfield. A nice idea for the through ball. Now once again Bangladesh looking to attack. This time from the right flank. Shagurika. Lovely bit of skill there but eventually it goes out for another corner kick. From what we just witnessed a while ago, Bangladesh not taking a long corner. This time, things could be different. Both teams with similar heights and stature of players, so Taking a long corner, not the worst idea. This time a long shot from the captain, Joanna Bibirita. Going off target eventually. Sujata Tamang once again placing it 
And the kick taken by Simran Rai. This time Sultana, she wins it but eventually the ball is kicked out by Janob. We're into the 13th minute, Bangladesh nil, Nepal won. The girls in red definitely will be happy. The girls in green might be a bit green with envy. Having conceded the early goal, they would have liked to be in a different situation. Once again, winning the ball back in midfield, Bangladesh looking to attack from the right flank. Lots of Nepal players pressing and marking and ensuring that the attack is dealt with. Eventually the ball goes out for a goal kick. Very efficient defending by Nepal. And we saw in the last match as well against Russia in the first half. They were very good. Russia had a lot of possession but couldn't make use of it in the first half. In the second half it was a different story with lots of substitutes coming in and doing the damage especially the likes of Elena Golik who could be among the candidates for the player of the tournament along with India's Shilji Shaji Nepal so far trying to dictate the tempo of this match, breaking up the play, not allowing Bangladesh to attack. Once again, it's a goal kick. Possession at first won by Bangladesh and then by Nepal. And now there is a tussle. Nepal eventually winning it. This time there could be an opportunity for Bangladesh. But the pass. Not the best one. But once again, it's with Bangladesh. Nepal defending in numbers. You get the feeling Bangladesh will have to bring more players forward to deal with the player advantage that Nepal have created in front of defense with four of their defenders playing in a low block and at max we're seeing two to three Bangladesh players in attack once again inside the D box and again an opportunity dealt with very well by Nepal Bangladesh's latest attack once again not bearing fruit this could be a bit nasty there a bit of a collision between Mitu and Juma Bishwakarma Nusrat Chan Mitu the, at first the touch was loose then she got the ball once again but ended up colliding with Juma Bishwakarma. But they seem to be okay though. It's a free kick for Bangladesh. In the end, in a good position, Jarno Bibirita getting ready to take the free kick. Captain of Bangladesh. And eventually it's an easy one for the goalkeeper. Goes straight to her hand. Nepal looking very solid in defense. As you can see. Sujata Tamang 
not really troubled there. Bangladesh looking to attack from the left though. The ball was too far forward for Sultan Akhtar to deal with it. And it's another goal kick for Nepal. Looking the brighter of the two teams in the early exchanges of the match. Bangladesh perhaps feeling a bit of pressure as well of having to win this to stay in the tournament. Nepal almost, you get the feeling that they're playing for pride. In midfield now, Nepal looking to attack. Once again, is Juma Vishwakarma who's down. Mitu with some good skill there. And now looking to build up from the back. This could be good for Bangladesh. Eventually, once again, the danger is dealt with. There could have been a chance. Shagurika didn't take the shot. Wasn't expecting the ball to come back to her. The loose ball, it spun back towards the players, away from the keeper. And Preeti, in fact, wanted to pass it to Shagurika instead of taking the shot. Maybe in a bit of confusion there. This time it's a free kick. Ritu takes it. Gives it to Arpita. Bangladesh looking to attack from the right. Once again the ball. A misplaced pass. It goes out. This time though for a corner kick. There was a small deflection from a Nepal defender. Mitu taking the corner kick. It's been the fourth corner for Bangladesh in the match so far. And it's taken long. Ooh. Bangladesh's captain. in a collision with one of the Nepal players who is down currently. Bangladesh's captain Ajano Bibirita immediately after the collision. Looking to apologize as it wasn't intentional. She was actually looking at the ball. A few of the Nepal players going into the sidelines for a few drinks, looking to rehydrate themselves under very hot conditions here in Dhaka. Once again, we've seen people coming in, watching the under-17 girls play for the SAF Women's Championship. 2023. It's a long throw in for Bangladesh. Could it result in something inside the D box? A few loose passes. Eventually, Nepal dealing with it just for the time being. The captain Jona Bibirita hoofs it up forward. Once again, this time she passes it back to Ritu Akhtar. And now Arpita Bishash. Nusra Chan Mitu. Just when Bangladesh were building with a few passes, they lost it for a while, but once again back in attack. The pass eventually, not a good one. It needed to be 
a much more accurate pass there for Preeti to latch onto it. And now Nepal, they have the ball in Bangladesh's half. Looking to build from midfield. Uram Chem Jong eventually passing it towards Barshaoli who can't keep a hold. And now Bangladesh look to counter. Sultan Akhtar and now on to Preeti from the left flank. Preeti showing some good skills but inside the tee box. Her shot is dealt with. It will be another corner kick for Bangladesh. Yet to make any of them really count. Let's see if this one brings about a different result. There will be a short delay before the corner kick is taken. The referee wanting a stretcher out. Not really great signs despite Nepal having the opener for them. Amit Abhu, the player with the slight issue and hopefully she's good enough to continue but she will receive treatment on the sidelines as the corner kick is finally taken. Bangladesh have an opportunity inside goal mouth action and the keeper once again Sujata Tamang safe as houses puts her body on the line and keeps the ball from going inside the net but now she's down and Nepal's medic really having to work overtime here she was just having to deal with one of the injuries to Amitabhul and now Sujata Tamang once again popping a blow to her head from the corner kick there was a bit of a scuffle just in front of goal and the kick that was attempted eventually hitting her face instead of the ball she will require some treatment as well and definitely a concussion check both teams going in for drinks in the 25th minute Bangladesh nil Nepal won in the first half Nepal with the goal through a brilliant run by the number 17 Punam Senu Pariyar as we see the points table Bangladesh still in third Nepal will have the same number of points as Bangladesh six but still be in fourth they need more goals to overtake Bangladesh in terms of goal difference Bangladesh on the other hand will be looking to deal with this deficit and move up the table three points here moves them up to second place at least and then they have to hope that India win big against Russia to a certain extent where Bangladesh's goal difference is the best among the three teams looking very unlikely though for the hosts as things stand Sujata Tamang looks to be fine now after receiving treatment given the two breaks in play the two, two drinks breaks we've already had this could be a lot of minutes added in the first half. The goal kick taken by Simran Rai. And now in midfield there is a tussle between the two teams. 
Barsha Uli is deemed to have fouled at least one Bangladesh player it seems yes went in on Ritu Akhtar did not come back with the ball and the referee obliged to give the free kick to Bangladesh A long free kick taken, well defended by Nepal, has to be said. But Bangladesh once again taking possession, snatching the ball. Kanan Rani Bahadur from Barshaoli and now we can see Bangladesh looking to attack once again. Nepal defending very, very astutely. Join up BB Rita, Bangladesh's captain once again. With some good football. Another cross goes in. There's an opportunity. Bangladesh failed to get their shot away. The ball goes back in midfield. And the captain, Join up BB Rita, loses out. And Nepal looking to attack through Borsha Oli. Ball eventually goes out. a throw in for Nepal they've looked very good in the counter attack already Senupariyar showing us her skill and ability and once again it's Senupariyar she's one on one with the keeper the shot unfortunately this time goes over the post could have been 2 nil to Nepal from the throw in Senupariyar getting the better of the Bangladesh defense and in this case Kanon Rani Bahadur once again Nepal looking to attack Shungita Rani Dash doing a job here Then the attack coming from the right flank, but not controlled well enough. And it will be a Nepal throw in. Shurobi Preeti was the player who failed to control it from the right flank. This time, Bangladesh looking to press in midfield and winning the ball back with a nice interception. An attack from the right flank once again. Preeti keeps control of the ball. But eventually, Nepal's low block is very organized and deals with the attack. Hoofed up forward. Once again, that's a shot. The keeper at first may not have dealt with it very well, but eventually does. Sujata Tamang, who's also wearing the captain's armband. Bangladesh once again looking to attack. The pass intercepted. The captain, Jona Pipirita, passing it forward. And once again. That looked dangerous for a while, but eventually the keeper Sujata Tamang doesn't make a mistake. Took an awkward bounce just in front of her. What was initially supposed to be a pass became a lot more in the end. And that's a poor pass, allowing Nepal control in midfield. The culprit there, Arpita Bishash. But once again, Bangladesh winning back possession. And this time, Arpita does get her pass accurately. The ball is out for another corner kick. Shurobi Preeti with the cross, which was dealt by the Nepal defender. As we approach half time. 
Bangladesh still behind in this match, looking for that equalizer after Nepal's opener, and this time it's the captain. Jano Bibirita looking to take the corner kick. As she does, it's a long one. Will reach another Bangladesh player. A barrage of shots going in, all hitting Nepal players. And this time, Nepal once again deals with it. Bangladesh looked to attack again. Just lacking that individual quality that Senu Pariyar had. Once again in front of goal, Sujata Tamang doing her job. It was a long ball by Nadi Akhtar. Juti. And now Shagurika passing it forward. Looking to beat two players. Eventually losing out and it will be a goal kick. Nepal's goalkeeper once again as is the case last game having to work a lot but defending very astutely Bangladesh have had more of the possession in recent minutes but they haven't been able to make it count due to Nepal's dogged defending now inside the D box the shot is a tame one by Preeti and eventually it's off target Preeti seeing the ball in front of goal couldn't help herself didn't really wait to control the ball before hitting it tried to hit it on the volley and there wasn't enough power or placement once again Bangladesh looking to win the ball back immediately from a goal kick the captain Janab is it Ritu? Apita moves it forward. Takes it back once again. And now, Nusha Jahanmi too. Eventually, the keeper deals with it. Too many through balls in in front of the D box one feels instead of looking to pass it to the player another through ball attempted had too much on it for Shagurika to really reach Bangladesh once again looking bright from the right side the cutback not accurate outside the D box Shot could have been taken one feels. But the defending is good. It's aggressive. Wins the ball back. Nepal have to deal with the ball and eventually do. In midfield. Bahadur. Aimed at Mitu. And now again from the right side. The shot. Reaching the keeper. If it was a cross of sorts by Pooja Dash, things could have been different for Shagurika. Another throw in. This time it's for Nepal. But they lose possession once again. Bangladesh trying to grow into this game. Even though the score says otherwise. Bangladesh nil Nepal won and in the last few minutes they have looked a brighter team looking to pass it and build this time the ball hits me too and she seems to have really been hurt by the power of the shot
once again we can see Me Too having to deal with the shot plenty of power on that and immediately she went to the ground and the referee obliged so for a third time drinks are being taken by the players on the sideline as we can see a very animated Barsha Oli on the sideline trying to tell her players to attack more, to play better to hang on to the lead they have hung on no shortage of animation, energy and entertainment Bangladesh have been attacking brightly in the last few minutes looking to continue This time the loose ball hoofed up in midfield. Bangladesh once again having to do some defending now. This time from the right. This could be promising for Bangladesh. Once again, Puja Dash. The cross beats. Nepal's Maya Maske, she defends very well and now Nepal they fail to counter and Bangladesh once again in attack Shagurika pass is not a good one but she does end up winning a throw in Chagurika had a better position to get a cross in but she failed to do this time the cross does go in but Bangladesh failed to deal with it and the header by Puja Dash meeting the hands the gloves of Sujata Tamang who gleefully takes it and avoids any danger still no goals conceded only one goal in the match separating the two teams Bangladesh searching for the opener Nepal already have their first and now once again an attack from the left flank it's actually not the best of ideas by Sultan Akhtar easily gives away possession in a dangerous area but Bangladesh winning the ball back now looking to attack from the right in midfield they are bringing more and more players forward as we are five minutes and extra time away from half time This time the cross once again dealt well by the Nepal defense. But Bangladesh do win the corner kick. In fact, no. It will be a goal kick for Nepal. Sujata Tamang not taking the goal kicks. It's been Simran Rai who has been taking the goal kicks for Nepal. This time helping Sujata tie her shoelaces the goal kick by Sujata Tamang not the best one still Nepal ends up getting it but it's out for a throw in throw into Bangladesh a long one taken where possession is once again given away but as is the trend Bangladesh winning it back and losing it again from a promising position of attack and as time goes on the hosts will be frustrated if the scoreline stays this way they have attacked in the last 10 minutes looking to create something 
but it hasn't happened yet for them. This time the corner kick is taken. It's taken long. The header is not accurate. Or else there was an opportunity there to score. Sujata Tamang this time taking the goal kick. Hoofs it up long, gives it to midfield. And the word I'm getting is there will be three additional minutes in the first half. Once again, Nepal playing very nicely. Referee decides not to play advantage. The foul on Chuma Vishwakarma is obliged to. As we can see, Shagurika with the tackle. And now a free kick for Nepal. From the midfield though, not the best of positions. Dealt with by Bangladesh. And now in midfield, Shagorika looking to attack. Finds Preeti, but she can't keep hold of the ball. And now Nepal once again looking to build on it. Preeti gives it to Pooja Dash. And this time there is an opportunity. The shot though straight at the keeper. By Nushrat Jahan Mitu. Mitu had the best opportunity. Shagurika. She was right beside it as well. And in fact it was Shagurika. Whose shot. Went straight at the keeper. All she needed to do was put it on either side of the keeper and it was going in. This time Bangladesh facing a, an attack by Nepal after that shot. And now Nepal looking to put more salt on the wound of the hosts. Attacking from the right flank. That once again looked promising. Another throw in for Bangladesh. Ritu Akhtar, the player. The ball inside the D box, but way off target. And eventually out for a goal kick. Approach. Ladies, Ladies and, and gentlemen, gentlemen, additional time, three minutes. So as I said, three minutes of additional time in the first half is given. Bangladesh once again with a good chance. This time, Nepal's defenders get back in line. And Sultan Akhtar, she makes a mess of things. Now, her collision with one of Nepal's players leads to one of their players being down. But she's back up. It was Nepal's number 14, Maya Maske. Now some loose play in midfield. Bangladesh once again trying to gain control in midfield. Some miscommunication there between the two players. But that's a good ball. Nepal losing the ball in front of their D-box. But deals with the danger still. And now they can hit on the counter. 
but Bangladesh stay aware and the referee blows the whistle for an infringement one minute left of the three additional minutes the score remains the same Bangladesh 0 Nepal 1 despite Bangladesh having the majority of possession in the first half lots of chances they've tried to create but only one really good chance was there where Bangladesh's players were one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and in that moment Chagurika had the best opportunity couldn't take the shot as accurately as she'd like either side of the keeper and that's a goal once again Nepal looking to attack just outside of the D-box Bangladesh dealing with it and in midfield a few passes eventually in the third minute as soon as three minutes were done the referee the half time the score is score for Bangladesh 0 score for Nepal 1 so the half time score Bangladesh 0 Nepal 1 we go into a short break and we bring you back and we come back with live action from the second half stay tuned
Welcome back once again. We await the second half of the SAF Under-17 Women's Championship 2023 where Bangladesh are down a goal against Nepal. The first goal and the only goal of the match coming via a Senu Pariyar goal. A very nice goal. As you can see in the points table, Nepal will have six points if they win this match. Bangladesh will stay third, Nepal fourth, Bhutan fifth, India will take second and Russia will take first. Although things could change in the second match between Russia and India if India win the match by a big margin. So as we can see, a few substitutions happening. Both teams getting back in the huddle, having a few words of encouragement before the second half begins. It's a it's a gettable task for Bangladesh to win from here on in. But it won't be easy, that's for sure. Me too, Bangladesh is number nine. Nushachan Mitu will get ready. For kickoff. And Bangladesh have made one substitute. Srimuti Trishna Rani. She's on the pitch. And the kickoff will need to be taken again. There is a mistake. This time it's better. Immediately the ball hoofed up forward. We're into the 46th minute. Bangladesh looking to make an early in road. This could be dangerous though for Nepal. They are attacking. Bangladesh's captain, John Obibirita, teasing. Nepal's number seven, number eleven, in fact. Deepa Rokaya, who's also one of the players new into this game, coming on as a second half substitute. Free kick to Nepal, Maya Maske getting ready to take it. Plenty of bodies coming forward for Nepal to join in on the attack. It's headed out of danger, but once again, Maya Maske drives the ball forward and it goes out eventually for a goal kick. Bangladesh's keeper, you have to say, Shongita Rani Dash hasn't had much to do in the first half, yet she's conceded. It's been a rare occasion where the team with the less amount of position has ended up scoring. That was sloppy though from her. You can tell because she hasn't had much to do. The kick going way off target and eventually gifting Nepal a throw-in in Bangladesh's own half. Now Senu Priyar. We need to make something happen now for Bangladesh on the right flank. It's Puja, gets the cut back in. But then the pass from 
Should have been pretty, not the best one. And it goes out for another goal kick. Kanan Rani Bahadur with the long range effort slash could have been a through ball as well but eventually it didn't result in anything this time it's a long ball hoofed up forward Bangladesh asking for a corner kick Puja Puja Dash asking Right now, Simran Rai with the goal kick. And now Nepal looking to attack. This could be dangerous from the left flank. Once again, Deepa Rokaya keeping control. And eventually, kicks it straight to the keeper. Shongita Rani Dash. Who brings the ball forward? And it's out once again. It will be a throw in for Nepal. Amitabhul. Some good passing there by Nepal. But eventually dealt with by Bangladesh's captain. John of Bibi Rita. Ooh. In the middle of the pitch, that could have been a collision. Eventually, no one really getting hurt. Lots of duels being contested in midfield once again it's Puja this time it's Chagorika the cross goes in but unfortunately straight to a Nepal defender Amitabhu who makes no mistake gets it out Preeti was the player closest and once again we see Shagurika with the cross but Preeti's kick not timed once again Bangladesh get back in attack it's Shagurika looking to keep the ball in unfortunately there's too much on it and it's out for a goal kick Bangladesh still trailing by the one goal it's Bangladesh nil Nepal one we have to keep in mind that despite the home side scoring eight goals in the first match against Bhutan, they failed to score against Russia. And the one goal that came against India was an own goal. So they have gone two matches without actually scoring. And this is the third game where none of the players have made the score sheet. This time some back and forth in midfield. Eventually Bangladesh coming off better. Now on the right flank it's Puja. Can she find the player? In fact she finds the keeper with the cross. And it's another chance. Bangladesh looking to build with attack after attack. Once again in midfield. Some good work done by Nepal now. Moving forward. Shukriya Mia. The shot taken is unfortunately a tame one. And an easy save for Shungita Rani Dash.
Bangladesh once again with possession. Me too. The captain, Rita, not really getting her pass across, was pressed quite aggressively. And now, join of Bibi Rita with the throw in. Bangladesh are pressing and eventually wins the ball. Getting near the Nepal D box. Puja. This time Preeti. Her ball is a very strong one. Puja, does she keep it in? She does manage to keep it in. Juti. It's the ball in. Just outside the D box though. Mitu. The shot that she took was well dealt with but at the cost of some physical damage and we can see Senu Pariyar, the goal scorer she's the one that's down We're into the 55th minute and really the goal scorer Sanu Pariyar in quite a bit of trouble being helped up and Bangladesh's captain join of Bibirita she wanted to move forward and move on with things. Help Sonu Pariyar out of the ground and now she's being treated on the sideline. And a lot of visible pain. This time Nepal looking to attack from the left. But it's back with Bangladesh. Nepal are down to 10 players. This time it's Shagorika. The cross, though, is not up to the mark. And the advantage that Bangladesh had in terms of number of players was not really materialized. Once again, an opportunity. The shot goes in, but straight to the keeper. This time it's the shot from Preeti. You see once again the goalkeeper not really having to make any difficult saves. Everything going straight to her. Once again in midfield. Bangladesh looking to build, but the pass has too much on it for Preeti to really get and take advantage. We're to the 57th minute, and the scoreline is still the same. Bangladesh nil, Nepal one as Bangladesh look to make a change. Number two coming on for number 19. Substitution for Bangladesh. Jersey number 19, Ms. Sultana Akhtar out. Jersey number 2, Kanom Akhtar in. And another substitution for Bangladesh. Jersey number 9, Mr. Jahan Mitu out. Jersey number 10, Tuinuyo Marma in. So as we can see, Tuinuyo Marma and Kanom Akhtar are the two players in. But it's Nepal who are in attack. The pass eventually goes out. Will be a throw in for Bangladesh. Kano Maktar just came in, ready to take the throw in. It's a long throw in. In midfield, eventually won by Nepal. 
but not controlled enough. Bangladesh hoof the loose ball up forward. Lots of sloppy passing happening right now. Finally, midfield Bangladesh get some possession to Inoue Marma. Passes it forward. Once again, it's to Inoue Marma. Gives it to Pooja Das. But her cross is straight at the keeper. And now, Sujata Tamang gets her goal kick away. But it's back with Bangladesh in attack Puja eventually it's a handball by Puja Das as you can see Bangladesh's coach Gulam Rabbani Chotan giving orders to her players for this free kick goes straight to a Nepal defender Bangladesh looking to attack once again but that's brilliant defending there Amit Abhul and then Deepa Rokaya Juti with the throw in eventually wins another one for Bangladesh this time Puja holds on gives it back to Juti Puja again the cross not on target eventually the ball going off Juti out for a goal kick good defending once again by Nepal And the goal kick, not the best one. Bangladesh trying to hurry things. The throw in was taken very quickly. And probably not to the liking of the receiver. Still with Bangladesh though. In midfield. Once again, this time a misplaced pass by Pooja Das. She finds duty this time. The cross goes in. The keeper cannot save it. Captain, she goes up, but eventually it is called an offside. So Nepal this time once again survive. This time runs out. For the hosts, just a bit less than 30 minutes. And as we see, the goal kick is taken long, but back in midfield, a bit of a slip there by Kanan Rani Bahadur. Makes up for it. Still in control of possession until now. Duty this time. And that's well won by Nepal. And this could be a good counter attack. Really good football. Good pressure applied by Nepal on the counter-attacks, has to be said. And this time, it's a good ball forward by Tuinue Marma, Pooja Das. The shot taken is well defended though. Shagurika, she took the shot. She is down, but it was really well defended. You have to give credit to 
the defender, I believe. It was Anjana Punmagar who just came on from the substitute's bench. And now she is requiring treatment as well. Plenty of Nepal players have been injured in this game so far. It's been a physical battle against Bangladesh. They put their bodies on the line. And for Bangladesh, Shangurika is also being attended to by the medic. Seems to be ready to come back on though. Just asking the lineswoman. As the goal kick is taken. But it's straight back to Bangladesh. And now aimed towards Puja. Bangladesh not getting the corner here. It's another goal kick. Once again, Nepal just slowing things down in the second half, defending well and ensuring that Bangladesh don't get really big chances here. To Anuya Marma, this time the pass not accurate. The ball is being headed out towards the goal line and this time it's a corner kick the referee showing a card though and she decides to give the yellow card to Nepal's Maya Maske From the corner, it goes straight out. Not the best of corners, it has to be said. By John Obibirita, the captain. Substitution for Bangladesh, jersey number 11, Puja Dash out. Jersey number 14, Simoti Krishna Rani in. So Trishna, we've seen her score a few goals in this tournament in the opening match she's in jersey number 14 to add to Bangladesh's attack and she might be thirsty for goals as her name says she is on the ball the cross is straight at the keeper though some good play there by Trishna Bangladesh is number 14 Now having to defend Bangladesh. Nepal coming forward with players inside the tee box. A few tussles. Eventually, the defenders do their job just about. Shongita Ranidash gets it away. And now to Inoue Marma. Looking to pass it from the left, Joanna Bibirita, the captain, the left back. The cross comes in, meets the head of Shagurika, and it's out, I believe, for a goal kick. It's a good attack built just a while ago. Good football played by Bangladesh's captain. Join up. The head, it felt like it came off a Nepal player. The referee 
thought otherwise. And now an infringement in midfield. Foul on the goal scorer, Seno Pariyar, who despite taking a few knocks, is continuing to play. And it's great to see the fighting spirit from Nepal in this match, has to be said. They started the tournament with a loss against India, but then defeated Bhutan. Played very well against Russia, even though they lost. And now, in this match, they are one goal to the good. And looking to win this, Bangladesh have been thoroughly frustrated, failing to find the net. There have been plenty of attacks, but Nepal have been equal to the task in defense. As we enter the 69th minute. And now from the left, Bangladesh. Once again, the first touch lets her down. Preeti, it's been the case this match quite a few times. Preeti has looked to score. But some of her decision making in front of goal... It's left a lot to be desired. Once again, Bangladesh winning the second ball. But it goes out for another throw in. And now back with Nepal. Arpita. And now Tuinue. Tuinue continuing. A good run, but the ball she put forward. Aiming at Shagurika. There's a lack of understanding there. But once again, Bangladesh in attack. Trishna this time. She shows her skill. She's one on one with the keeper. The shot goes in, but it's saved by the keeper. Juti this time. And the long range effort straight to the keeper, Sujata Tamang, who you may say is the hero of this match. Save after save made. Really good footwork there by Trishna. Her, and her shot was very good but very well saved by Sujata Tamang. Bangladesh win themselves a free kick though. They decide to take their time with it. The referee telling some of the Nepal players to calm down, especially to Simran Rai, the other players surrounding the ref. Deepa Rokaya and Amit Abhu. Barman Kanika, the referee, trying to control things. The ball goes in and it's saved by the keeper once again. Juti was the player. And now Sujata Tamang with the goal kick. And it's out once again. Will be a throw in. For Nepal, this has been good now uh, from the right side. This is looking good. Juti eventually very well defended by Maya Maske. It's a throw in. Juti takes it and now brings it in front of the D box. Kano Maktar got a touch. And it's back with her. She passes it forward to the captain, who's unfortunately offside. Join the Bibirita. You're watching us on BTV and also on Sportsworks. 
for more such content be sure to subscribe for more such videos also to get notified hit the bell notifications icon once again another attack for Bangladesh dealt with by the keeper Shakurika getting a little frustrated with the through ball not accurate enough there were wide open spaces in front of goal she's probably ruining that missed opportunity once again Sujata Tamang getting the ball in midfield where Bangladesh win it back but this time the kick by Arpita Bishash straight onto the Nepal player and she gets a yellow card for that reckless effort as you can see Arpita Bishash not managing to take the ball away from the Nepal player Deepa Rokaya who came on in the second half and now it's out for a throw in and this time this is great work done by Trishna and Trishna continues the run inside the D box gets the pass in and it's a goal finally Bangladesh breakthrough and it's that girl again who gets the goal Shagurika finds the back of the net immediately Bangladesh are back in this match after Nepal scored the opener it took Bangladesh a while but in the 75th minute Shagurika found the back of the net but you really have to give credit to Trishna with a brilliant run from the right flank bringing it back for her and scoring and once again we can see Trishna she was running forward it's a very very nice run by her and it was a perfect cross low driven cross towards Shagurika who made no mistake with her right foot and finally Sujata Tamang she's beaten Bangladesh once again in attack looking to find another goal here now that the equalizer has been scored and Nepal under quite a bit of pressure Renu Limbu somehow just dealing with it there are shots for a handball inside the D box and now one of the Nepal players are down looks to be Senu Pariyar the goal scorer and once again she'll need some treatment yes it was Senu Pariyar in a collision with to Inoue Marma and unfortunately as we can see the stretcher has come out for the goal scorer Senu Pariyar who did deal with quite a few blows and she cannot continue Bangladesh looking to make another substitution as we can see Preeti will be substituted off and Munki Akhtar will be coming on Yes, another attacking substitute made substitute by coach Golam Rabbani Choton. Number 20, Shirobi Akant, out. 
Jersey number seven, Miss Mundi Atter in. And for Nepal as well, there should be another substitution with Senu Pariyar out. Once again, Bangladesh looking for that second goal. The loose ball is eventually dealt with by the keeper, Sujata Tamang. She kicks it out. The crowd, which has come in, getting excited every time Bangladesh go into the attack or get near the Nepal D box. The score so far 1 1 in the 79th minute. One of the substitutes for Bangladesh, Kano Maktar taking the throw in. Not the most accurate one. And gives away position to Nepal, but they can't hold on either. Bangladesh look to attack. Juti gives it to Munki. Munki back to Juti. And the pass eventually missing, but Juti makes sure that she has it. And Trishna inside the tee box. But Nepal makes sure that they defend in numbers. And now Arpita in a collision with Barshaoli. The referee deems it to be okay. But Barshaoli really didn't get the ball kicked. And now Nepal looking to attack from the left flank. Shukriya Mia drives it forward. But Bangladesh deal with it and look to get back in the counter. Once again in midfield, won by Bangladesh. Long ball forward, which is well dealt by Nepal. This time another lofted ball. This time, a substitute happening for Nepal with Anjana Punmagar coming on and Sita Rukaya, the player, to make way for her. Substitution for Nepal. Bangladesh once again looking to score that winner. Scoring so late on in the match might result in the winner. And once again Nepal now making sure that they also have a few chances to attack. An attack they do from the left side. It's a throw in though. Bangladesh's keeper Shongita Rani Dash hasn't had to do a lot of work. Renu Limbu getting ready to take the throw in does so. Sinu Pariyar who's taken two big knocks eventually back up the goal scorer and brilliant skill shown by her. Eventually it's back with her but just outside the D box Bangladesh deal with it and now looking to hit on the counter attack Trishna she had the ball eventually well defended Nepal getting a rare attack in in the second half whoever scores you get the feeling will be winning this match from here on in Once again, it's another header. For Bangladesh, they're looking to build up from the back. The keeper is out of the D-box. Good skill shown by Arpita Bishash. And now it's Munki. Gives it to Trishna. But she can't find... 
Another player on target and eventually the ball is out. Some helter-skelter defending by Maya Maske. And Munki once again with the ball and this time Bangladesh can't take the shot. Players coming forward around the D box and Kano Maktar keeping hold of the ball and getting past two Nepal players brilliant from her she takes the shot should have went for the cross though as we can see some good footwork there by Kano Maktar and eventually the shot that she took should have been a cross. Bangladesh could have had the second goal. There were players just stationed in front of the keeper who could have done damage. Bangladesh though looking to build from midfield. But a loose pass. And eventually it's out for a throw in. It's a throw in for Bangladesh. About five minutes left. And then whatever additional time the referee decides to add for both teams to find a winner here. Krishna losing the ball. This time Munki. Juti loses the ball and now Nepal looking to attack but Juti eventually deals with it and she's hurt herself. She's down on the ground holding her left leg. Could be cramp. Could be cramp as she receives some treatment from her teammate Arpita Bishash and eventually it looks like she's good to go Nepal's number 11 Deepa Rokaya is a player who was looking to make something happen once again Nepal looking to attack from midfield, not the best of passes. Now Bangladesh taking back possession. This time it's Trishna. Can't keep a hold of the ball. And it eventually goes out. Throw in. Trishna once again. Fleet footed. Passes it back. As we can see, lots of Nepal players inside the D-box, but still with Bangladesh. Kano Maktar going after it. Joyna Bibirita, the captain, was the player who tried to make something there. And this time the cross goes in, but it's deemed to be offside. Nepal survive here. They've defended well. Simran Rai looking to take the goal kick. She's shared the goal kick duties and the free kick duties from inside the D box with the keeper, Sujata Tamang. They've had to do a lot of work in front of defense. Once again, Bangladesh looking to attack from the left flank. Aimed towards Joanna Bibirita, who's down inside the D box. Doubt the ref will give anything there. In midfield, this time it's Juti telling Krishna to make the run forward. She does so. And that's a brilliant nutmeg by Krishna. Looks to do it twice, eventually wins a corner. As we approach the final three minutes and then extra time in this match. Bangladesh win a corner. Join of Bibirita, the captain, getting ready but the referee having a word with the Nepal defenders. Barwan Kanika telling Renu Limbu 
and see Tarokaya just to be calm about things. The corner does come in. There is an opportunity for a shot. Eventually, the goalkeeper, Sujata Tamang, deals with the danger. And she kicks it out. Nepal looking for a counter. But once again, it's with Bangladesh. You're watching us on BGV and also on Sportsworks. Be sure to subscribe. And be sure to like the video. Be sure to share. And hit the bell notifications icon to be informed about more such live sports videos the long throw away by Juti and once again Trishna looking to attack the right flank has looked quite bright after the introduction of Trishna and she's really teamed up well with Juti Nepal having to do a lot of defending including their number 9 Nushrat Once again, it's out. And now, just in front of goal, Munki Akhtar, she was setting up for a shot, seemed. The ball has gone way into Bangladesh's half for a throw in. We're into the 90th minute, after which there will be a added time. My guess is around three minutes will be added on. This time it's with Juti once again. She gets the pass through but doesn't reach Maybe Trishna. In fact, it's time. Five, five minutes of extra time. Five minutes. So there is still opportunity and time left for a winning goal here for Bangladesh once again Munki gives it forward this is Shagorika inside the D box she is taken out but the defender gets the ball the referee won't give it as a foul once again for Bangladesh inside the D box there is an opportunity well defended by Nepal in the end throw in for Bangladesh four minutes left after this as Nepal look to make another substitute with their Number 15, Poonam Chemjong coming out for the number 12, Priyanadul Malama. Substitution for Nepal, just number 15, Poonam Chemjong out, just number 12, Priyanadul Malama out. The shot eventually missing the target way over Juti looking to score here in the dying moments of the match but it's not to be as the keeper Sujata Tamang she's letting her teammate take the goal kick and this time there is a foul the foul is on Trishna and now Bangladesh bring their players forward some good work there by Trishna and Shukriya Mia number nine of Nepal eventually tackling her down join of Bibi Rita looking to take the free kick the free kick is not a great one but an opportunity it's an empty net and it's over the bar the chance of the match Kano Maktar had the opportunity to score the winner 
initially the free kick it went to the keeper who spilled it and it was an open goal for Kano Maktar and she ended up hitting the bar Bangladesh back in attack it's Kano Maktar her cross goes straight to the keeper though this time would have been on target this time the shot but there was a keeper Bangladesh will feel aggrieved to have missed there but they win another free kick to Inoue Marma showing some great endeavor trying to win it at the death here as we approach a thrilling finale foul conceded by the goal scorer Senu Pariyar once again it's a free kick to be taken by Joanna Bibirita. She takes it. And this time the goalkeeper doesn't make a mistake. Sujata Tamang looks to play it fast and forward. There are a few Nepal players inside the Bangladesh half. And now they're looking to build and keep hold of the ball. But eventually it goes out. Not the best of passes there by Prena Dolmalalma and now Trishna she has the ball some beautiful dribbling but the pass she attempted off target Juti takes the throw in this time the ball forward it's a long range effort really ruining it Kano Maktar at the end here for Bangladesh and the referee blows the full-time whistle and you can see lots of disappointed Bangladesh players eventually leaving they felt they had it in the bag the in the end score is, the score final score Bangladesh, one. Bangladesh won and Nepal won as we can see the points table Bangladesh have seven points and will be second in the group Nepal will be fourth with four points India in third position with six and Russia in the top spot with nine while Bhutan they fail to score and get a single point so we're down to the last match of this tournament Russia versus India that starts at 715 we go live a few minutes before that till then this is goodbye from us stay tuned <laughs>